Well, if you've been following this channel for quite some time, you'll find that I myself am quite a fan of having a lot of fun with the AMD APUs. And I've been patiently waiting for the Raven Ridge line to come along. In fact, we are at, at right now trying to pursue finding a Bristol Ridge A12 at 9800. So hopefully we'll have some fun content with that coming along very soon. But in the meantime, we have seen a bit of information slide out thanks to Sysoft Sandra database in the new AMD Raven Ridge APUs ahead of any real announcement on them. Now, according to this leak, what we're looking at, I say leak, rather, it kind of slipped out through the database again, um, a CPU, rather an APU with some rather interesting information. And based on the, the well, the number, the naming scheme that they used for it, we can see that this is a mobile variant. So we're looking at a quad core, eight threaded mobile CPU with a three gigahertz base and a 3.3 gigahertz boost and of course on the Ryzen base platform. Now the three gigahertz and 3.3 gigahertz boost, that could be because it is again, a mobile variant. So it's gonna be a lower clocked, lower power, um, sub 65 watt design potentially uh, at this point we really aren't sure but it's fun to speculate a little bit there the interesting part of the apus is of course the acceleration the gpu side according to the numbers here that we can find the gpu side seems to be running 11 compute units resulting in 704 stream processors at around 800 megahertz now that is compared to the previous 512 GCN or eight compute units on the Bristol Ridge CPUs, even as well as the Carrizo and the Gataveri chips and the Kaveri chips running between 800 and just over a gigahertz on the iGPU. Uh, but this go around, they'll be using AM4. Well, I guess technically Bristol Ridge also uses AM4, but you can't really buy that one on the shelves just yet. According to the chart that we have here, it's likely we won't see AMD Raven Ridge CPUs till the end of 2017 or even the beginning of 2018. So not holding our breaths too hard on this one, but we are keeping an eye on it. And as we get more information on Raven Ridge, we'll definitely be sharing it here as well on the site. Now, if you'd like to see more about this more in depth and see the charts and everything, please hit the link in the description below to check out our article. Well, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we will catch you all in the next video.